police shooting, this time in Louisiana. Baton Rouge police caught on video shooting a man they have pinned on the ground. Not even 36 hours later, federal authorities launched an investigation into the case. NBC's Dan Sheneman begins our coverage that also has implications for officers in Austin. Baton Rouge is a city on edge. Tensions are rising following a fatal police-involved shooting during an arrest, all caught on cell phone video. The confrontation shows two police officers tackling 37-year-old Alton Sterling. Seconds later, someone is heard saying, he's got a gun, then police open fire. Officers arrived at the scene after a 911 call claiming someone had a gun. The police chief says Sterling was armed, something the family's attorney questions. Mr. Sterling was not reaching for a weapon. He looks like a man who's trying to get his head up, who's actually fighting for his life. The convenience store owner says Sterling hung out at the store selling CDs. He described him as confused during the incident. He didn't know what was going on. And I think if they took the time to tell him what was happening, what was going on, I think it would have ended up differently. Emotions in the community are running high. Sterling's son and his son's mother were clearly distraught during a morning news conference. He had to watch this as this was put all over the outlet. The police officers are now on administrative leave. I have very serious concerns. Uh, the video is disturbing to say the least. City officials are turning over the investigation to the U.S. Justice Department, including body camera video from the officers. There is a lot that we do not understand. And at this point, like you, I am demanding answers. But we want to make sure that we ensure the integrity of this investigation. That's why I'm happy to see the Justice Department step in. City officials are pleading for calm as the community demands answers and braces for more protests. Dan Shenneman, NBC News. Reporting